Hello and welcome back to Kids Do the Stupidest Things. Up next, a 12-year-old girl from San Francisco is going to juggle candles while lit. Warning, do not try this at home. Wow, that looks like a really cool thing to do. Maybe I should try that for myself. I think there are some candles in the kitchen that I can use. Ah, oh, another butterscotch and cinnamon pie is finally ready. Uh-oh, mom is in the kitchen, and she'll sure see me getting the candles out and juggling them whilst they're still lit. I need to distract her and get her out of the kitchen. Oh my god! Mom, you need to go upstairs right now. What's wrong, my child? The toilet's blocked upstairs and it's flooding the bathroom. You better go sort it before the whole house floods. Oh my god. Not my precious bathroom. Stay here, Kara, and keep an eye on the pie. Okay, now that I got her out of the kitchen, I can finally get some candles to juggle whilst they're lit. Here are the candles. Now let's do this. Well, that juggling animation was kinda cringe. Oh no. Fire. I better get out of here quick. Hmm, that's strange. The toilet doesn't appear to be blocked, so why did Kara say that it was? Sniff sniff. What is that burning smell, and why is the smoke alarm going off? Oh no! smoke and when there is smoke there is fire i need to get out of here right now before i become barbecue goat at last i finally completed bendy in the ink machine that was such a cool game sniff sniff what is that terrible burning smell oh no smoke and when there is smoke there is fire i better get out of here Wah, uh, uh. I sure do love chilling out in my secret hidden disco basement that my family doesn't know about. Sniff sniff. What is that smell? It smells like burning. Oh no. That awful smelling smell is smoke. That can only mean one thing. The house is on fire. Oh no my precious secret disco basement is going to burn. But I need to save myself so I better get out of here. Oh no, our lovely home, I can't believe our lovely home burst into flames. How on earth could this have happened? I don't know, let's just hope the firemen can find out the cause. Oh no, they're going to find the candles. They're going to find out that I did it, aren't they? Hopefully they won't know that I was responsible. So Mr. Fireman, did you find out the cause of the fire? Yes. It turns out that two lit candles had been dropped on the kitchen floor and that is what caused the fire. The kitchen you say? Wait a minute. Kara, weren't you the last person in the kitchen just before the fire? Well, yes, I was. Chara, do you know anything about this? Because it's strange how the fire was caused by two fully lit candles that had been dropped on the kitchen floor and you were the last person in there, so you better start talking right now. Okay. Fine. It was me. I was the one that caused the fire. I was copying something that I saw on TV. I was trying to juggle two lit candles, but it went wrong and I set the house on fire. I'm sorry. Kara, I can't believe that you set the house on fire. How could you be so stupid? Ooh. You are in so much trouble now. Unfortunately, it will take up to three months for repairs to be completed so you will have to find temporary accommodation until then. Well thanks for all your help Mr. Fireman. As for you Chara, we will deal with you later. Kara, how dare you set the house on fire with your stupid lit candle juggling techniques. You are grounded 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 until our house is repaired and also, you are paying for the repairs out of your allowance as an additional punishment which will cost over $5,000. Thanks to you. We now have to spend the next three months in this cramped, stinky motel which doesn't even have cable TV. 
Now go to your room which is the smallest, most cramped room in this motel room. Go there now. Wow.